Hey, what's up, y'all? How y'all doing today? Well, baby, if you're in a Krishan Rock, it is over, right? And guess what? We can't blame Blueface for this one. Now, I know Blueface is who everybody loves to hate. And baby, he is bringing Krishan down. He even got her out here talking reckless to her friends. But we're not talking about today, y'all. I believe we owe Troy, is it, an apology? The truth has come out about what happened between uh, Tamar's best friend and Krishan. Remember all that? Little Troy was up there hooting and hollering, or so we thought on live, talking about, I saw a brutal attack, all this stuff happened, and Tamar Braxton was sitting on mute. She was apologizing to Krishan. She was doing all this stuff. Well, guess what? The man that Krishan assaulted, that Krishan said nothing happened, has filed a police report. Charges have been filed against Krishan. And get this, get this, get this, get this. He's actually doing a civil trial. Now, baby, you better get that money. Because let me just tell this, right? Regardless of how you feel about Krishan or not. And this goes to anybody with like Krishan said, she was on social media just last week talking about, I make 400,000 a post. I put two left feet forward. Everybody going to talk about it. Krishan, you got a lot to lose. You got a newborn baby and you out here sucker punching people in the face because Tamar promised you something? Maybe. We don't know what happened because Tamar changed her story so many times, then said she couldn't make everyone happy, then apologized to, apologized to the woman that has charges pressed against her for assault. Krishan Malone has been officially charged with assault with a deadly weapon and battery on a person with injury. Let's also not forget, after she allegedly punched him in the face, she went on live showing off the rings that she used to crack this fool's face open. Um, uh, If you recall, James Wright Channel, Channel Chanel said he injured... Uh, she injured his nose and chipped his tooth. She was adamant nothing happened. And many thought charges would, wouldn't would be filed. But baby, Charles, charges have been filed. And Krishan's already on probation. She's already on probation. She's already running amok. She's already talking about she getting back with her, her baby daddy. How they both going to be in jail? Um... How are they both going to be in jail talking to each other? I guess because collect calls only go one way, right? Again, charges have been filed. Now, let me just say this, right? Because Krishan's a new mom. She needs to be home with her baby. But that said, Krishan has been on a rampage. And the thing is, and just hear me out. She busted James's face open. That's why Troy was acting crazy. Because of what he saw. Everybody tried to gaslight him and act like he was the problem. I do believe, at least from what my sources said, um, there was supposed to be some type of payoff involved to keep things quiet. Krishan was on probation. But Krishan decided that she wasn't going to pay anybody off. Because she thought somehow, and again, this is what the streets are saying, that James was going to keep his mouth shut for free. I don't know. Did Krishan really believe that thing when she was like, hey, nothing happened, nothing happened? Because I'm more than sure there's some type of security footage in the dressing room that they were praying. Krishan is known for being handsy. And I think she thought because she gets away with that on the Zeus network, and that's actually how she gets her clout, that she could do that in the real world. I actually don't know what's going on in Krishan's mind. I used to make excuses for her and be like, yo, you know, Blueface got her stressed. She's in an abusive relationship. But And I still believe that. But at what point does the abuse become the abuser if you don't actually get your, your, your yourself right? Another thing I want to say is, Krishan does seem... I feel like she has a different way of... Oh, sorry. Has a different way of looking at things, I don't think that she has a conventional way of looking at things. Hold on, y'all. It's bothering me. Sorry, y'all. The struggles of worst day. So anyway, right? I don't think Krishan has a very conventional way of looking at things. I don't think that Krishan understands the consequences of her actions sometimes. And I'm being serious. I'm being serious. I feel as if 
somebody should be watching over Krishan, her business dealings, the people around her. I just feel like Krishan needs somebody to help her, guide her through life and monitor her because I feel like it's very easy with Krishan's um, mental uh, focus for her to not understand things that should be obvious to other people. Anyway, let's move on before, but y'all get what I'm trying to say. Anyway, um, he's also suing her civilly. The thing is, he should have 100% sued her from the beginning, but also, Krishan, why didn't you just pay that man off? Why didn't you pay this man off? You got, and I 100% do believe now, by the way Krishan's been moving, that Latroy, when he was saying there were people outside his house that he was telling the truth. But when it comes to James, why don't you just pay him off whatever it was? Like, you on probation. You got a child. The baby needs you at home. Fully present. Not with blue running around. And again, I'm not blaming Krishan because I really do think, and I, I'm being serious, I really do think she's like, yo, the devil has her in his grip. Like so many things. Like I just want better for her. Anyway, she's being sued. Why don't you pay her? And not only that, she did an alleged assault and used a slur. Please tell me this is not true, that she didn't call him a member of the LBGTQ community while she was insulting him. Because if Koshan doesn't know, that is a hate crime. And when you're on probation, assault, that's a hate crime. Woo! Krishan's facing a legal battle it's directly from TMZ on a civil front. She's on the receiving end of a lawsuit for an alleged assault. One that allegedly took place during a Tamar Braxton show according to legal documents. So James leaked it to TMZ. I'm not mad at you, baby. If somebody busted my face open, I would be suing them too. You can love or hate Krishan, but if it was me, I would be up there suing too, please. According to legal documents, James Wright is suing Krishan, claiming she attacked him in a club back in November. An incident, he says, led to multiple face lacerations. Oh, my God. And two broken teeth. James was reportedly hospitalized following Tamar's show in downtown Los Angeles around the same time. Tamar talked about the alleged incident during the IG Live, where she said Krishan thought she was supposed to have a bigger role in the show and apparently became agitated when she told that told was told that wasn't the case. You know who really should? Anyway, in the suit, James, who sang backup for Tamar Braxton, says he told Krishan she was supposed to only come on stage for a short portion at the end of the night. He says she told her she was not in the properly designated area, and that's when she allegedly hit him. James claims Krishan struck him several times using a hand with a large champion-style ring and caused lacerations and broken teeth. He also claims she called him a homophobic slur in the aftermath of the alleged assault. He says he was sent to the hospital, also had to consult with a dentist and a plastic surgeon. Now James is taking Krishan for assault, battery, and emotional stress. He's seeking compensation. Y'all, listen, I'm not surprised James is doing this. I'm not surprised that Krishan feels like she's innocent. I'm not surprised about any of this. What I am surprised about is the fact that all this really happened and Tony was uh, not talk. Tra Tamar, I'm calling her everything but Tamar. I'm like, Tony, Tracy, Trina. Yo, Tamar was apologizing to Krishan. Tamar was out here sitting on mute. Tamar fired LaTroy because he was trying to protect him, her, him from Krishan. Y'all listen, that whole situation is messy. But I'll tell you one thing that is not going to turn out for. Krishan better pay him off. This is not anything to yell at, yell about. It's not anything to be bravado. He is accusing you of a hate crime and assault and battery. Krishan is already on probation. I don't care what none of y'all say. If they drug test her, it is over. Blue can't take the baby. Krishan, like, y'all, listen, all jokes aside, though, and I'm not even making jokes, y'all, pray for Krishan that she gets the help she needs so that that baby can have a mother. I would say pray for blue face, but I don't think anything can save that boy. Anyway, y'all, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.